Candidates seeking to fill the mayor's seat talked about some of the issues at the top of residents' minds, especially those who live downtown, at a forum hosted by the Downtown Pasadena Neighborhood Association. CCN's Andy Rocco was there and has this story. It's that time again for Pasadena's mayoral elections, and tonight we had the opportunity to hear all six candidates and what they have planned for the city if elected. Since taking office in 1999, Mayor Bill Bogart has decided this year not to seek re-election. The six candidates to potentially replace him attended a forum Wednesday, January 14th, answering questions from the public. Downtown Pasadena Neighborhood Association moderator Greg Gunther led the forum. At the DPNA, we see our vote as a hiring decision. No offense, but we are not interested in your standard stump speech. Rather, we want to understand how you respond to our vision of Pasadena's future. The candidates had the opportunity to view potential construction projects for Pasadena and were asked to discuss their views for those plans during their opening statement. Those projects included public safety and creating walkable streets. You know, there is such a huge opportunity for private investment in almost everything we saw, whether it was parklets or the tram or even looking at bike lanes. There's engagement with the vendors who benefit from us creating walkable streets. When I was at the Complete Streets uh, table, um, one of the things that stood out to me was uh, kind of the, the motto of, or one of the models of the Complete Streets movement, which was um, Vision Zero, and that was that no loss of life is acceptable. If the development conforms to a unique uh, urban lifestyle that could complement uh, what is already uh, in the communities uh, that you're looking to develop, especially here on uh, uh, below Colorado, I think it could be done. But I think first and foremost, the education aspect of it is crucial. Part of the problem that we have is that development tends to come in surges. It comes sort of all at once and people feel like they're being inundated. Um, so that part of it is, the, is just the intensity of development as it reflects in the, in the real estate cycle. The candidates also expressed their qualifications for mayor. With the connection and the experience I have, we can get the entire community working together to do a better job addressing our needs of, of our, all of our children in past in. As mayor, I want to get rid of the tell of two cities Concept. I believe that we are one city, we just have to act like it. I want to kind of bridge the gaps, whether they be socially, economically. If none of the candidates receive a majority of the ballots cast, a runoff election will take place April 21st between the top two candidates. It will be the first time in 16 years that Pasadena voters will select a new mayor on March 10th. In Pasadena, Andy Rocco, CCN.